Well, welcome friends. We are out thrifting today and I stopped at a thrift store that I don't really make it too often. So sale price is 90% off the yellow tags and there were just some unique pieces to be found and to see. I do share a haul at the end with some of the pieces I have found, but I'm just going to bring you along and show you what I got to see at this thrift store. And then I did stop at a Goodwill on another day and found some charming vintage pieces as well there. And to be honest, the Goodwill prices at that particular Goodwill were pretty decent. I feel like where I live, they're usually pretty high for their prices, but it was a good day and I found some fun pieces. So let's do a little shopping and just look to see what this thrift store has and what Goodwill has. I just have to mention these cloth pieces were like burlap um, sacks I think that someone made into pillow covers so they were really unique to look at but I did not pick any of those up. Alright on to Goodwill. So I always just check all the top clothing racks because that is where you can score some of the best finds. I don't often stop at Goodwills because like I said earlier, I feel like their prices aren't always the best where I'm at in South Dakota. But this particular stop was not too bad and so many fun things to find. Even some pieces that are new that looked vintage, I really debated on picking up and getting like this cookie kettle, just fun copper kettle. I really debated on this jewelry box to give to my girls or to a friend, but it was $5, so I did pass on it. Did I pick up a lot of white gravy boats in this video? <laughs> selection at Goodwill was quite decent this time around but I think I probably have picked up enough baskets for my home for a while. I usually pick up a basket in every haul and so um, you'll just have to see what I find.
even some of these new pieces, I thought they were really cute. Like this coffee container and this sugar container. They wouldn't fit my home decor, but even if they were just from TJ Maxx, as the tag said, and these new placemats, they're so vintage looking that they would be really fun to have. All right, so I'm gonna share my haul with you. I have about six or seven pieces that I picked up throughout this collective haul. Some vintage pieces, pieces I will probably keep, and a couple, couple practical items. I say this often, but I do limit what I purchase, things that I know I, I will use, things that I will be gifting, or things that I can put in my shelf that I have in an antique store. So let's just get started. First piece is this beautiful, tin blue and white vintage looking tin it was i want to say two dollars but i used it for some fourth of july decor um, if you follow me on instagram you probably saw that in my stories but just so fun not really sure even the brand but it was so cute for two dollars i couldn't pass that up then at that same antique or that same thrift store i got two of these pillows they are so fluffy they're kind of like they're a little more rough on the front to have some texture they were a dollar a piece i think they're harmony house and i've talked about these this brand of pillow before and they have brown tassels they would be beautiful for fall maybe in our little guest cottage they have a little pilling going on but still really cute pillow with that brown tassel and the brown stripe and white and then they're just neutral on the back so i got two of these all right, then at Goodwill, I actually felt like the prices weren't as bad this time. And two items were not priced. This first one was not priced. So they were high school girls asking, and they asked for them for a dollar. So they gave them to me for 99 cents. And then this croc. I've never found a croc like this. No lid on it, but this was also for a dollar. But these are so fun. This could hold little utensils in it, put it in my antique booth, gift it, something like that. But both these were 99 cents a piece. This cute little floral mug, it just has like that um, wicker pattern on the bottom with the floral. It's creamy color. It's got some wear on it. It was a dollar. Um, I'm trying to see, yeah, stoneware Japan. I'm taking the tag off here. So just really cute. I thought it'd be fun to gift with a few tea bags in it to a friend um, or just to drink out of as well for myself. Now this piece I only picked up because it was so unique. I have never seen anything like this and I love doing cut flowers for my garden. You've probably seen that too in a lot of my videos or if you follow me on Instagram as well, but it was $1.75. There is no brand on the bottom, but it's just, it reminds me of Milk Glass. I'm not sure if it really is, but it is, it's just so unique and I couldn't pass that up for $1.75. Lastly, you saw me look at this, this large wicker hamper. It does have a liner, but I will be taking that off and using the basket itself or washing the liner. I mean, it's just got some stains and some hair on the bottom, so I could wash that. It was $6, but man, for really sturdy, a light laundry basket, I really can't pass that up. And my other one got really moldy on the bottom that I had paid $15 for at an antique store. So I think this is a steal for $6. I was not gonna pass this wonderful, pretty large laundry hamper basket. All right, well, thanks for coming thrifting with me and seeing my minimal haul. It's fun to share these with you. And I hop into thrift stores or garage sales when I can, when I get the opportunity. And so, um, this video has been, the footage has been collected for a few weeks now, but I hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed and wonderful day, friends, and I will talk with you in the next one.